Um, yeah. Dogs of Berlin has many success uh, on the worldwide and especially in Turkey. So we loved uh, this TV series. Uh, Thank you. Dogs of Berlin um, has many well, topics in these uh, world's politics. So um, how can you prepare this process and uh, how can you find these topics? Uh, because many uh, different kind of uh, political issues, uh, different kind of social issues about this. How can um, get together all of this and uh, how can prepare this? Well, uh, first of all, the, the show is about things that are going on in real life. Mm -hmm. So obviously I didn't have to uh, prepare this, it was just all around us. And we picked up on it, of, of things that are happening in Berlin uh, that are um, examples of how the political discussion and the culture, the, the online culture is, is shaping our um, socioeconomics, our politics, how everybody is discussing with each other. And I, as an artist, was uh, missing the, the kind of element of forgiveness and of switching perspective to other people. So what I was trying with the show was to have examples of many, many different uh, uh, ways of life and backgrounds and cultures and bring them all together and show how everybody is struggling in this and nobody is responsible or, or guilty or, or at fault, but everybody just tries to get ahead in, in, in life. Basically, it's, it's what he says is uh, that we show in the show that, that you come from a certain background and you cannot choose your background. You, you are born, you're thrown into a, a specific world, an environment, a, a culture, and you have to deal with it and, and out of that uh, something develops and you have an easier life because you start maybe at a higher level or you, you have a harder life because your parents are poor or uneducated or come from a, a different culture or come from a from a different culture and have to integrate and so uh, uh, the show also shows that different people have different chances in life and, and, and how they deal with it. Yeah, that we're all human, you know, yeah. because that's what's yeah. missing from the discussion. Like everybody is now talking about identity so much and what separates us, mm -hmm. but you know, we're, we're all human. We all want respect, we all want love, we all want success. Mm -hmm. Family want the same thing, so mm -hmm. it's very ridiculous that we're fighting over those so many things. Yes. Uh, as you said, this is about a uh, human in uh, this uh, world condition, actually. And Dr. Berlin has uh, two main cops, two of them, um, different kind of... One sits here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the different kind of uh, specialties. Yeah. So um, one of them, a German, classical German cop, yeah. um, the other one, uh, the Turkish origin, um, yeah. and he has a, a, an a LGBTQ community. Yeah. How can you write these two characters? And when you uh, representing in uh, this uh, series, how can uh, um, prepare this role? Okay, first of um, I read the book. Then I um, then I met uh, Christian on the casting, and in the casting again, and I read the book again. Mm -hmm. Then I take some food, sleep, take time, and I read and read again because the uh, I think the script are tremendous, and it's not so not so much uh, situation that I can't handle it, and uh, I go to the set, and and I try to find the uh, the the impact in the scene the mood, the love, the, uh, the emotions. For me, it was, um, um, like I said many times, for me, the two characters are representatives because I'm the uh, writer of the show of uh, personality clashes within me, you know, so they're um, representing different ideals in, in my own head that are constantly fighting with each other. Um, there's an idealist in me and there's a pragmatist and they both are having arguments all the time, so I created these two characters. One is the idealist, not him. <laughs> <laughs> and one is the, uh, the pragmatist, and obviously I add other things onto it, so it's not all me, because mm -hmm. for example, I'm not uh, gay myself, but uh, for me it was very important to um, show a, a gay character without making it about that. You know, usually when you have a gay character, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the show or the, the, his problems come from that and it's very incidental to his life. Mm -hmm. Yes, he has a little bit of argument with his father, but it's not about being gay so much as being German overall mm -hmm. and, and modern. And uh, 
And I think that he's not, because you said in your question that he's a classic German cop. That's not true at all. He's <laughs> not the classic yeah. German cop. Right. Uh, we didn't have on German television someone who's uh, coming from a right-wing background, uh, moved away from that, has now enemies, obviously, in the right-wing scene, who's uh, very, very shifty and, and morally relativistic and does things that are very selfish and not so much helping the case but himself. You know, so that's a very, very <laughs> special, very modern character modern. that, uh, for me, it was tough that the audience, I wanted the audience to love him and but hate him. You know, that you say, I hate that I love you. You know, that was basically how I was trying to write it's it. love relationship. Yeah, yeah but you, we always try to show that, that his being opportunistic comes comes from the heart in a way. He wants to improve his life and the life of his family and that's why he goes from doing one bad thing to the next uh, and, and it uh, he steps from one pile of dog shit into the next, so to speak, and, and uh, he can't get out of it anymore. He, he sees that he has kind of uh, caused in a way a, a kind of an avalanche that he can't stop anymore and he, he tries to do his best to get out of it, but more and more he even drags his, his very idealistic going by the law uh, uh, cop partner into, into his, his business. Dogs of Berlin uh, was showed in online platform Netflix. Uh, what's the differences uh, between online uh, platforms or TV? Biggest difference for me is the audience that it's instantly online and can be seen all, all over the world, that you will never have this with traditional uh, shows or movies. And uh, that's to me is the biggest difference. Mm -hmm. And then uh, back from that, because of that, um, you also have to think about uh, all these people, will they understand everything? Or is it so specific to Germany mm -hmm. that an audience member in Argentina will not understand what's going on? So because of that, you, you know, with a traditional movie, you might not sell it to Argentina because of that but here it had to be for everyone so we had to find a way to um, explain things to the people outside of Germany in a way that is not dumb to people inside of Germany so that was the biggest difference. I think it's the reason that we I sit here mm -hmm. yeah. yeah but uh, I think that's exactly yeah. what you're saying the reason why he sits here was because we had a lot of freedom for example in right. casting the Turkish mm -hmm. because it goes with, crazy with yeah. with free TV on free TV, TV you you yeah. usually yeah. have to to cast the main parts according to the ideas of of the executives of of the network you work mm -hmm. for and and with Netflix, it was rather find the best guy for the part. Because, you know, it's someone who's <coughs> famous in Germany will not be famous outside of Germany anyway. So Netflix mm. didn't care. Okay, okay. You know, they said, you know, he's not like even if you get the biggest guy is not famous in Argentina or Turkey. So just get the best actors. So it was very great to, to be able to yeah. cast it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I here my first time in Istanbul. Yeah, yeah it's great. great. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. Yeah, I love Istanbul. <laughs> I love Turkish people. I love it. I love the food. Thank, thank you. Thank thank you, you for the <laughs> 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 thank you for the conversation. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.